what a start to the series. Griffins and Syracuse Crunch go up in the best of seven Calder Cup Championship Series. This one went down to the wire. Griffins come from behind, beat the Crunch 3-2. Let's take you out to Van Arena for the highlights. Griff uh, Tampa Bay GM Steve Eisenman in the house. Of course, the Crunch, a Tampa Bay affiliate. There's Jared Coro. He has been great in the playoffs. First period, Griff strike first. Thomas Nosick is eighth in the playoffs. It's a 1-0 game. Short-handed now. The crunch tied up. Corey Conacher to Kevin Lynch. It's 1-1. Put it right on the tape. Early second period. Crunch take a 2-1 lead. Joel Vermeen in front beats Coro. That's the last puck they get past him late in the period. Colin Campbell behind the net. Does the dirty work. And then fires it in front to Nathan Page. Page buries it in the back of the net. The captain ties it up at two. Final minute. Griffin's on the power play thanks to a too many men on the ice penalty. Matt Laredo over to Ford. And there's your game winner. Thomas Nosick with just under 14 seconds to play. Griffin's win game one. Three to two. Larry Fergurski was between the benches for this game. He joins us live from Van Adel now. And Lair, that penalty sure hurt Syracuse. Yeah, it sure did, Jack. Came at an inopportune time, obviously, for the Syracuse Crunch. You know, good teams find a win, way to win when maybe they don't play their best nights. And to a man, that's what the Griffins players said after this one. Syracuse came in wanting to see if they could skate with the Griffins and if they could find a way to slow down the Grand Rapids power play, which had been ranked number one in the league all year. Well, they did find a way to do both. Almost until the penalty in the final seconds. Tyler Bertuzzi, the most noticeable guy on the ice all evening long. They're, they're a hard-working team. They get on pucks and they, you know, they have a good, solid forecheck. And um, you know, we just we need to, you know, match that in intensity. And we know we didn't have our best game. And you know, we're going to come up better tomorrow. They're going to come hard tomorrow night, so we got to be prepared. Uh, we just got to be. We got to know. We know what we can do. I'm sure they know. Think they can be better too. So we know we have to be better. And now, guys, know how good of a hockey team we're playing against. That's a really good hockey team. So we're going to have to be prepared. You know what? Uh, that's a huge win for our hockey team. Just to kick off the finals with a win at home. Uh, like you said, it could have went either way. They had a lot of opportunities. If you look at the start of the third period, they had us hemmed in for about a good eight minutes. Um, you know, they just, they just kept on coming in waves. And uh, you know what? Uh, we, our job is to protect home ice, and we did, did so tonight. And uh, tomorrow it's going to be even tougher. Huge win indeed, Jack. And you know, every game has its storyline for the Griffins. Tomorrow night will be you win Saturday night in Grand Rapids. This series will end back here regardless, even in worst case scenario, of the three games in Syracuse. So big one here again tonight. Live in downtown Grand Rapids, Larry Figurski, 24-hour news aid. Jack.